Philippine Army's ACV-300 ACV-15 tracked armored vehicles. The Philippine Army currently has a small fleet of Turkish-made ACV-300 now ACV-15 advanced armored personnel carrier AAPC acquired from Turkish company FNSS. These vehicles were acquired less than 10 years ago under the old AFP modernization program covered by RA-7898 and are considered to be the youngest armored vehicles in the Philippine Army despite the procurement made before those assets acquired during the Horizon 1 Phase 66 units were acquired from FNSS, or was supposed to be the first batch of a proposed new fleet of new tracked armored personnel carriers for the Philippine Army. While the performance of these vehicles were great, the Philippine Army realized that they are in need of hundreds of armored vehicles, yet their budget is only good for a few dozen. Instead of purchasing more ACV-300s from FNSS, the Philippine Army decided to use the budget to acquire upgraded M113A2S which were contracted to Albit Systems Land and C4I, and to request the U.S. government for used M113A2 tracked armored vehicles under the U.S. Excess Defense Articles EDA program. Part of the funds for the new APCs were were used for logistics, repair, and shipping 114 M113A2 armored vehicles from the US to the Philippines. While the ACV-300 appear to be similar to the M113 series of tracked armored vehicles, it is in fact closer to the FMC Armored Infantry Fighting Vehicle AIFV, more commonly known as the YPR-765 after the Dutch examples, which has some minimal improvements over the M113 family like additional armor, slope rear section, and enclosed turret main weapon. The PA mid-ACV-300 tracked APCs are armed with an 12.7mm M2 heavy machine gun on an armored ACAV main mount. Aside from the six APCs, the PAMID also has one unit of armored recovery vehicle acquired separately under an earlier deal.